Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello, and welcome to the College Investor Audio Show. So glad you're along with us today. You know, when it comes to student debt payoff, it pays to get creative. See what I did there? But should you use a personal line of credit to refinance your student loans? Hmm. Today, we explain why using private student loans is generally better than a personal line of credit. Note of warning, refinancing may not make sense for you. Today, we assume that a borrower wants to refinance. However, that that often isn't the best option for borrowers with federal student loans. The federal ones. I want to repeat that. Student loan refinancing means that you pay off existing student loans with another loan. When you refinance student loans, you're using a form of private debt to pay off a federal student loan. Borrowers with federal student loans have protections that private loan borrowers don't have. Federal borrowers have access to loan consolidation, income-driven repayment plans, and other protections. These are all the implications of private loans. Be careful when you're considering any refinancing strategy. Okay, now let's get to it. Well, first of all, let's ask the question, what is a personal line of credit? Well, it's really considered revolving credit. It's a type of debt that closely resembles a credit card or a home equity line of credit, a HELOC. When borrowers take out a personal line of credit, they can borrow up to a set limit, say $30,000. Borrowers only pay interest on the amount they draw against the line of credit. You can typically use a personal line of credit to pay for anything you want. For example, a borrower who uses $10,000 on the line of credit will pay interest only on the $10,000 borrowed. They will not pay interest on the full thirty dollars line of credit. Now, as borrowers repay the line of credit, the remaining credit limit goes back up. The interest rate on personal lines of credit are similar to the rates on personal loans. Some people will qualify for excellent rates, but most times the interest rates will be in the double digits. Eek. Many times the interest rate on a personal line of credit is considered variable. That means the rate can change based on fluctuations in the market. What is student loan refinancing? Student loan refinancing involves taking out a private student loan to pay off another student loan. A private student loan is still an educational loan. It's usually an installment loan. That means borrowers who make payments as agreed will repay the student loans in a fixed period of time. The monthly payment and the interest rate on the loan are likely to be fixed for the life of the loan. What's the difference between a personal line of credit and a private student loan? Well, a personal line of credit and a private student loan are both private debt. Both are used to pay for education. However, the loan options have distinct differences related to uses, repayment, taxes, credit scores, and bankruptcy. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uses for a personal line of credit versus student loans. Now, a personal line of credit can be used for almost anything. You might be able to use the line of credit to pay for upgrades to your house, pay off credit card debt, and potentially pay off some or all of your student loans. However, a bank may not allow borrowers to use it to repay student loans. Limitations on usage depends on the bank. Now, by contrast, private student loans can only be used to pay off existing student loans. You cannot roll other debts into a student loan refinance. Repayment. Personal line of credit versus student loans. Now, Private student loans are almost always installment loans with fixed interest rates. That means your loan payment will be the same month in and month out for a fixed period of time. After that time, your loan is paid off. By contrast, a personal line of credit is a form of revolving credit. The interest rate is likely to change over time, and the minimum payment may not lead to payoff during an initial lending phase. Borrowers who are hoping to get rid of student loan debt need to be very careful to pay more than the minimum to get rid of the debt quickly. There are tax implications too. Let's take a look at the personal line of credit tax implications versus student loans. Student loan borrowers are entitled to student loan interest deductions up to $2,500 per year. This tax benefit is a great way to save up a few hundred bucks every year in taxes. However, the benefit is only for qualified student loans. 
Qualified student loans are loans that are used exclusively to pay for educational expenses. The loans must be for the taxpayer, spouse, or dependent who was a student, for education provided during an academic period when the student was eligible, educational expenses had to be paid within a reasonable period of time before or after you took out the loan. Private student loans almost always meet this requirement because student loans are only issued for the cost of attendance associated with an eligible student's time in school. Theoretically, a personal line of credit could qualify as an educational loan. However, a borrower may have a tough time proving that all three of these qualifications are met at the time of borrowing. And if you use the personal line of credit to pay for other expenses, it definitely doesn't qualify. There are some credit score implications too between the two. Let's take a look at those. So when you run up a personal line of credit, you are increasing your credit utilization ratio. That will hurt your credit score the same way that running up your credit card will hurt your credit score. In general, you want to keep credit utilization low on all your revolving lines of credit. Your credit score will only increase as you pay down the line of credit. By contrast, Student loans are installment loans. As long as you pay down the loans as agreed, the effect on your credit score will be neutral or positive. There are bankruptcy implications too between these two. Student loans are only dischargeable in bankruptcy in the borrower if the borrower faces undue hardship. Now, frequently, student loans, even private loans, are not easily discharged in bankruptcy. By contrast, a personal line of credit is typically dischargeable in bankruptcy. However, a bankruptcy judge may require a borrower to repay the line of credit if it is deemed to be an educational loan. That means you shouldn't try to do a last-second loan refinancing in a last-ditch effort to get your loans discharged in bankruptcy. So let's take a look at if it ever makes sense to use a personal line of credit to pay off student loans. In general, borrowers should avoid using a personal line of credit to pay off student loans. While it may offer a small interest rate arbitrage opportunity, the losses to the tax benefit and the credit score implications are likely to outweigh the benefits. And that is it. I hope that was helpful today on the College Investor Audio Show. If you ever have any questions, you want to find out more about anything we talk about during the podcast, check it out at thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll talk to you again very soon.